Hey guys, it's Ole Anderson from the Berkshire Massachusetts Treasure Hunter. Today we are at a new permission, 1860s house. Um, it's just a regular house, has some land by the Housatonic River. We are pretty close to where I live, so, but they don't want to disclose where they are, so that's fine. So, why don't we get to it and find the first target? I'll get back to you. So this is a 44 right in the surface. So it's probably a coin. Probably a penny. You find a lot of this. <laughs> Nails and screws. That is a piece of a can. <laughs> I was going to ask you, I had a big oak tree. Yeah. That fell over. Yeah. And it left a big hole in the ground and all the dirt and stuff at the bottom of the roots. Could there be something, could be something. There could in be something in it. Yeah. Underneath it. Yeah. Yeah, if you want me to check, I will. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's, there's always more stuff in people's yard than they think. <laughs> well, you're not going to find much money around here, that's for sure. No, that's, I'm like, <laughs> it all depends how rich they were and how good they took care of their money. Yeah, they were, this was a poor neighborhood. I found a lot of silver coins with holes in them. People would sew them into their clothes, huh. not to lose them. Huh. And then lost them anyway, but, <laughs> so... <laughs> Highly unlikely when my father was working two jobs and making probably, you know. When the people were working in the mill, they were getting paid 12 cents yeah. an hour. Yeah, so even losing an old large cents would have been bad. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. But I find toy cars and all kind of stuff. I was mad last Saturday. I was at a new place down in the middle of Great Barrington, and I, I got a signal. I thought it was junk. It would to kind of tell you if it's junk or not. It all depends on what number it gives you. So I wasn't being careful, and there was an old toy car for the 30s from the 30s, and I knocked that right in half with my shovel. <laughs> it had the wheels and everything on it. So. Okay. I tried to get into Searle's Castle, but he won't. The new owner. <laughs> Don't try to go in the cemetery. No. <laughs> so the people around here was very poor. It's an old mill house. There was a iron ore mill around here so we might not find a lot of coins but we'll find something yeah that'll give a good signal foil i mean a uh, siding this is a uh, 55 it swings up to it could be more of the siding We'll take it. It's a 36, 37 signal right on the surface. Right here. Let's see what that is. We haven't found anything good yet. I can feel something down there. There it is. Piece from a garden hose. So this is a 42 second. Right under the tree root. I'll let you. Oh, it's up. 
I want her to go. It's right here somewhere. I keep moving it. Could be a coin. No. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah, that's a nail. That wasn't it. That wasn't. Oh, yeah. It got lit on the side. That's why. Or copper or something. Uh, 41. Pretty consistent. Maybe that will be a coin. I'll get back to you. There's more in the same hole. Okay, where did you go? Let's see. That was not. Oh, not a coin. Uh, another penny. No. That's a 42 signal. I don't think it's a coin. Let's stick it. I'll get back to you. Got a 34 signal in here. That wasn't it. There's a lot of nails here. That was it. This was a 44 signal. Oh, there's a lot of nails here with siding pieces. So whatever this is right here, might as well keep you on. Oh. That's an old gun piece. That's an old trigger from a gun. <laughs> I guess the rest is not here. Uh, 24. Beautiful area here by the river. I'm sure there's some stuff in there. Maybe. <laughs> Not a 22 casing. So it could have been for a 22 gun. There's something big buried here. I don't want to dig it up. I don't know what it is. Big piece of metal. Yeah, it's a 42 signal, I think. Oh, that's an L. That's not a... More. Penny, new penny. Oh, this is a twenty-two signal, probably junk. There's something in the hole, and there's something right here. Oh yeah, bottle cap. 
I used to ring up 80 on my Amphibio. <laughs> it's a 33 signal, but it's probably junk. Yeah. Siding. More pieces to the house, I guess. Could be anything. It's a 46 signal. But so far I have just found newer coins, probably the same here. Should be a coin here somewhere, probably a penny. Uh oh. Yep, there it is. One in the hole. A uh, little bit older, but still a memorial. It's uh, 19, 1976 penny. That was it. So, this was the junk. A uh, hose and uh, pull tab nails. One square nail, a lot of sh uh, sheet metal, but that's what to expect at an old house like this. Uh, some ammunition. No, this is a 45 or something. I don't know. I don't know my ammunition. I don't know. This is 22s. A lot of those. Uh, I think this is a trigger from a real gun. I gotta see if there's a number on it when I get home. There probably is somewhere, but it feels pretty heavy, so I'm pretty sure that's from a pistol or something, or a rifle, I guess. We'll have to, have to see. Three cents, and then this locket. I don't know if it's makeup or I think they got a little mirror inside. It could have had a picture at some point, but it's all gone. So, yeah, that was it. This was an 1860s house. Uh, like I said, the owner's grandmother, they used to live here, her husband made 12 cents an hour at the mill, so I bet you they didn't lose their money. Uh, all the coins I found was new, so nothing here really, so it was a nice place. And there's the river, we might come back next year to the river, so uh, you all have a nice day. If you like this kind of content, press subscribe and like. Bye.